Yeah, 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 decisions, 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 Versace get funny decisions, easy you pull my decisions, which kind of feel lively decisions, but I'm about to shout decisions, 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 Everybody, welcome to Jewel Talk. 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 The number jewels, you heard. I be your host, Mac More Money. And I'm Finesse Leo. That's a fact, guys. Welcome back, yo. Yo, welcome back, man. Yo, we got a very, very special episode, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Yo, we just want to uh, give a shout out to our boy. Thank you for coming through. Our boy, Party yes, with Mala. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank good, you for having boy. me. It's, good. it's a pleasure. To, yes, yo, we were finally yes, sitting yeah. down. I know. It's the first time. Finally first sitting time down, you know what I mean? It's so first time meeting. It's definitely a pleasure. So, Word. yo, we, um, I see that you've been working. You've been working yes, big sir. time. Yes, sir. You know. Uh, you know what I mean? We here, and we here to, we here to talk about very special project that's very good. Yes, yes, my baby. My yes. baby. My big of baby. <laughs> Hella yeah. epic on the ground. Hella. Yes, What's good, though? Man, shit. Uh, life been moving, you know? Mm -hmm. uh, you know I, I quit my job. Um, started shooting some music videos. Started mm -hmm. making some music. Started working on my album. Um, we shot a little movie. Uh, started events company. We outside events, you know what I'm saying? LLC, I own that. Go mm. check it. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? That ownership. Yeah. Curated by Jody. Shout out wow. everybody. Hold on, though. You said you quit your job? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I Tell quit my job. I, I had to leave. I had to, I had to leave. Mm. That shit was sucking my soul. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You know that work life balance? Mm -hmm. It was work, no life. You know right. what I'm saying? And I'm, I, I'm, I'm social. I wanted to be in the mix. Mm. Um, we'll be free. I, yeah, exactly. I, I'm I'm young right now. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to spend my young years working, and just look back. I'm like, damn. Now I'm now I'm 38. Uh, Where my life go? How old are you now? I'm 28. Okay. 28. You know what I'm saying? And I'm reaching my 30s. Yeah. That's why my project is called. Which is a blessing. Which is a blessing. Yes. <laughs> yes. You know. Let you know, let's say that because a lot of niggas ain't here. You're right. Um, but my project is called Escape from Your 20s. Mm -hmm. Cause I'm trying to capture that you know the last five years of my twenties, mm. and it really has been an escape. So, you know, it's gonna be it's gonna be lit. Okay. So okay. wait, you quit when though? I quit uh, March of last year. March 2020. Yeah, yeah, during the pandemic. Yeah, 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 yeah. I quit during the pandemic. Damn. Yeah. How you getting the bills paid, fam? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You eat? You eat? <laughs> Somebody say you eat? On the floor, the boys. Let's, let's go. PPP. Let's oh. go. You know what I said? Actually, we're not putting that in the yeah. <laughs> But, uh, nah, yeah, yeah. You know, I was hustling. I was doing. Oh, yes, thank you. I was, um, I run a studio. Okay. Shout out Zen. Shout out J1. Shout out, uh, the whole gang, you know. Niggas be recording with me, so I be making some bread that way, mm -hmm. and I be doing events. Um, I also DJ a little bit, you know, so I get booked here and there, just to come up, set up, do music, be out, you know, a little, a little cash here, cash there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I know that you uh, you also uh, do beats, cause I was checking out your SoundCloud the other day. I see some fire ass <laughs> beats, man. <laughs> Yo, yes, yeah. I was from really trying to go off on the beat sales. Uh -huh. the thing is, you know, artists artists be strapped for cash, but. Right, um, right. My boy Rob, my boy Rob and Dre, they work with um, some real high profile producers. They make sub beats, basically the, the producers buy it from them. Mm. And then they get like $50,000 for a song, then they get, you know, $10,000. Okay. So I started working with them. Um, we actually made like one or two big sales, so I'm not gonna say too much, but you might hear us in the future I soon. That. Where, where that? Yeah. I wanted to really know about your DJ part because that, that really interests me because yeah. I love I love I love the art of DJing so what got you into that I wanted to DJ because I realized I've been doing this music thing for a long time mm -hmm. since 2010 2009 I've been playing music my whole life um pops is a pastor made me really play keys in the church <laughs> oh, yeah shit. that's crazy so yeah that's where my music comes from I wanted to make bread so I was like I gotta combine music and making money somehow every party needs a DJ uh, every party, correct, yeah, yeah, exactly. 
exactly. Party with Mama, let's go. So, <laughs> so tell us, yeah. tell us a little bit about the album, the soundtrack. It's the story of your life, correct? Yes, it's the so escaping my twenties. It's like uh, my last five years. I, I feel like it's gonna be very relatable because I went through some shit. We all go through through some shit, but I went through some adult adult shit. You know, yeah. tell it. I lost tell my it. moms in the last five years. Yeah. Um, start taking responsibility, taking care of the house. You know what I'm saying? Um, renting houses, throwing parties, dealing with women, <clears throat> getting caught dealing with other women. <laughs> the list goes on, you know oh, what I'm saying? Yes. Mad shit, getting Trials to work. Trials and tribulations. <laughs> Trials and tribulations. Losing jobs, freaking out, getting other jobs, losing that job. It's, you know what I'm saying? You go, you go through it. So how, how how have you been like processing, it, um, processing and prevailing like through those problems you've been going through? Yo. The one thing, honestly, that really been keeping me going is music. Cause no matter what my life scenario was, I'm always in that studio. No, no matter what, I'm always doing this. I'm always with J1 shooting some something, some yeah. shoot, some BTS, Ron Suno. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Shout yeah. to Ron Suno. Dior, you know what I'm exactly. saying? We out here, uh, Scott Morris. You know what I'm saying? More bookings. We be out, we be out here. Mm. Um, so that I think that's what really that's what really keeps me grounded. That's all I got. Mm, <laughs> it's that therapy right there. Yeah, thanks. Right. Some of this is, uh, the the songs on the project. Cause I, I oh, can yeah, tell yeah, you something yeah, yeah, that's my favorite. Oh, where yeah, 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 yeah. You know, um, they dropped the track list recently. Um, Nine to five. I just like that song because mm. that's straight out. That's just a story of. Of me about to get <laughs> to get laid off because I keep showing up to work at like 10 a.m. and That's I got relatable. the party night before. What are you gonna do? You know what I'm saying? Um, rich token. You know what I'm saying? A lot of the time. So I I'm, I work I worked in a corporate environment. I'm still in a kind of corporate environment, but I was the only black man for miles, miles. My son was the token. <laughs> the token, exactly, <laughs> exactly. But I kind of rocked it because I was hood. I always come back to the hood. I'm a little bit hood rich. You know what I'm saying? So that I would always, I would have to deal with that coming back to the hood, being with my niggas, and then going into that environment, being I'm Two really different people. yeah, exactly. You know, I feel I, that I, I've been in that world. Before. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. Know what you're talking about. Cold switching hearts. So I also remember uh, one a beat playing at the end of the, uh, towards the end of the album. Mm. What made you want to throw that? Just a beat, plain old. Beat. <laughs> I was like, I, that yeah, threw yeah. me off a little bit. I was listening to that. Listen to some music, <laughs> tuning in. Oh, work, bumping, driving, yeah. bumping this shit. And I'm like, I hear a beat. It's a calm beat, but it's nice though. I like the production. Like yeah. the album is very presented well. You know what I'm saying? Well, I appreciate that, bro. You know yeah, I mean? definitely. This is like revision 17. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna lie. This this has been on. This has been ongoing for a minute. How many? How, how long you been working on this? <sighs> some of these songs I made four years ago. Wow. Uh, I just been holding. I don't like to just drop songs. And like it, every song you drop, you have to now market it. You gotta now make a video or some sort of visuals. You gotta you gotta make it. You gotta get an exposure. Mm -hmm. So I'm not just trying to just put out music. I was like, if I'm gonna put out songs, it's gonna be it's gonna be everything. Now. So I waited. I didn't even have this concept until like maybe a year ago, and then actually probably less than a year ago. Um, but it just all came together in the last couple of months. Yeah, definitely. Uh, video I definitely think you should do for the two songs I, I like on it was uh, Makeup Sex and Thriller. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, yes, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. I felt with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I felt with that. Thriller, we actually shot the video. Oh, and really? We're gonna keep shooting because uh, my boy Kenny, Kenny, uh, um, OK Bugs, uh, is his shooter name. Uh, we shot Thriller on last Halloween. Mm -hmm. um, it's fire. It's fire. But I want to do more. I'm trying to do more. I'm about <laughs> yeah, yeah. My boy got BTS. Um, <laughs> got the BTS, BTS out now. <laughs> yeah, BTS out already, right? BTS yeah, out now. BTS. BTS out now. It's out now. Check that out. It's on YouTube, right? Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Right. So y'all yeah, check oh. that out on YouTube, man. Um, so the production of the movie, how long that took you to 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 do that? So I'm working with um I'm working with my boy, uh Pete Pete Hazel. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm trying to remember ZX Films. ZX Films is his uh, company. Okay. He shot for Nick Cannon. He traveled with Nick Cannon all across the U.S. shooting, mm. you know, uh, wilding out for him. Um, and he had mad connections in the game, so he'd been shooting for a minute, shooting like cinematic style stuff, 
like real heavy production, legit shit. So, and I know him. I'm like, this is my boy from high school. So I'm like, mm. yo, I've been seeing him popping on IG for a minute. And then he shot a commercial last year that BTS is out too. Go check, go check it out. Um, we went to, we shot at the this house. We had a pool party. He had the drone. He's doing all this. So I was like, all right, shit. bro, we gotta shoot something now. It's 20, 2020 happened. I was like, yo, I could die tomorrow. Mm. We got to do this now, like it's now or never. I'm losing my youth. My time is going by. <laughs> we got to uh, do it. Yo, now. I'm not trust, that. trust, I trust. That. You're not losing your youth, though. Trust. The thirties <laughs> is even when shit gonna get even yeah, more. It get better. It yo, get better. Yo, you gotta be happy yeah. that you like really made it, cause yo shit. I'm trying to yo. I'm still trying to get there. We all trying to get there, man. Facts. So, cause you only like yo. You only like four years old. So, no, facts. Like, bro, we all trying to get there. We right there too. Nah, exactly. I like facts. that. I like that perspective, cause I've really been looking at like ah thirty. I gotta rush, mm. but I like that perspective because you're right. I know some lit. I know some lit older people. You know what I'm saying? Bro, that's yeah, nah, that's yeah. what you supposed to be <laughs> lit. Yeah. Yo, right now, yo, I I realize, bro. Right now is supposed to be a grinding time. Mm -hmm. Like, so I it, it's perfect that that title's perfect. Escaping my twenties. Yeah. It's perfect because now you are on a new chapter. That's a whole new decade. <laughs> it's yeah, a whole yeah, new yeah. decade that you yeah, want to live and experience. Thanks. So um. You're in the movie, right? So like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like the main star in the movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's about me. It's about my daily life. Going to work, coming back from work. Going to work, coming back. You see, you know, you go to work. You, you deal with shit at work. You come back. You stress. You tired. You, you you get fucked up. Whatever. One day, I discover this VR headset. I order it. It comes. And now I just start going into this VR world every day. It's like a VR social media world, which is supposed to represent me as an artist Mala Jones party with Mala on social media that's what that's what I do I literally come from work I jump right into that Word. um so but I start to lose a grip on reality from using this VR headset over and over and I'm not gonna ruin the plot but basically shit hits the fan and shit gets crazy <laughs> where can people find this movie at uh it's, dropping not, it. it's not out yet um but I am doing a release party for my album on July 24th. I booked okay. the spot already. It's in Brooklyn. Mm. If you're in Williamsburg area, pop out. If you got the invite. Here, you heard it here. July 24th, for real. July this is the first time I'm putting out here. Yeah. Um, we want to try and definitely make that. You it's invite only, so I, yeah, y'all y'all definitely invited. You good know looks. what I'm saying? Good looks, good looks. Yeah, yeah, but that's when I'm premiering on that date. Okay, okay. So um, back to the whole project that you uh, recorded. You produced the whole thing, or you had help? Yeah, yeah. I put so I produced the vocals. I always do. I always like to mix my own vocals because I want to sound consistent. Um, but this is the first time I actually work with other engineers like that. Cause during 2020, I hooked up with like <laughs> my whole J. Well, you know, I hooked up with like the six producers, and all of these dudes make music they yeah. make they engineer they master they mix shout out rob frontage shout out Dre frontage shout okay. out be lazy you know what Ooh. i'm saying we be in there every weekend so they gave me beats they ma they helped me with the mastering or rather they mastered it in their own way boyfriend that track they went they went yeah, they went crazy yeah, yeah. they went yo, crazy yo, with that I'm shit telling, i'm telling you when I, when I was dead ass bumping this shit like from last all all last week <laughs> this week. Still in a little bit of my regular music, but you know, I be needing something to, to bump while I'm mm -hmm. driving these Amazon vans, you feel me? Yeah, I'm yeah, driving yeah. around the neighborhoods, these white kids over here bumping their heads. White, <laughs> white, that's what's up, man. That's what you want, that's what you want. You want everybody, you want everybody fuck with it. Yo, I, I, I'm gonna finish it, cause I feel like, yo, yo, cause it ain't out yet, so I gotta, I gotta bump the whole shit before you release that shit. That's a fact, so I'm in the loop, I'm in the loop crazy. As a fact, man, cause I see, I see that shit, that shit heavy. Like, I listen to, like I said, Four tracks. The intro. I, I fuck with the intro heavy. The intro was like <laughs> the intro was wavy. I, yeah, I ain't gonna lie, that, that was trippy. That's why I'm you know, telling. I like that trippy. I told shit. you when I heard the intro, bro. Right there. The intro was I'm, wavy. Uh, right there. Right there. Boom. Anime nigga. Anime nigga. <laughs> I'm telling you, cause that's how it be. Yeah. They, they like fo so focused on that virtual reality, they lose their sense of the real world and be like, fuck this. I want to stay there. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, they want to be in VR yeah. so bad. Yeah, yo, bro. It's got. Nigga, they already got VR. They get like. Yeah. But imagine. Imagine the shit that he that he this, imagine the shit that they really really do where you could dead ass do a whole story, bro. A whole story. Yo, that would be some shit. I'm super interested in that, bro. And I, I've actually been brainstorming some like ideas with. I'm not gonna say it because I don't want to steal my idea. Uh, but it has to do with the uh, fuck. I say 360 cameras. Um, doing multiple storylines, but you could like watch it face this way. You watch a one version of storyline face this way. You watch another version. Mm. Some crazy shit. 
But uh, I'm gonna do that later. It's after I drop this, after I drop the first half of the project, first half of the movie, I'm gonna start shooting that shit. Mm. Nah, cause I yeah. yeah, that sounds like a plan. Definitely, definitely, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I also so, wanted to ask uh, about this uh, little LLC company you got, right? Yeah, 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 that, yeah. Please, please. Oh, we outside events. Yo, yes, thank you for asking that. that. Yes. Yo, I appreciate that. Cause um. I've been doing parties for a minute. Uh -huh. I've been doing it just as me, you know, party with my How long? As long as I've been doing music. Since 2010. 2010. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I, I, okay, I'm, so I'm, over 10 years. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I, it was really, I, I really, really did the parties to promote the music. That was the whole reason I really went hard with promoting parties. Mm -hmm. So I could get exposure from my music. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So at some point, the parties became like slightly more popping in its own way. Mm -hmm. Then the music kept going. The eye became more popping. Mm -hmm. I learned people really fuck with, people fuck with the artists and the, the person. And if they fuck with you, then they start to fuck with the music they'll give it a chance. So that's when I started like, all right, okay, I'll do the parties. I'll let my personality come out. Then I'll just let the work for it speak for itself. And people hear it whenever they hear it. I know it's going to be like, they're going to bump it. Oh, I got to go hear the other shit. Oh, he got all this music. Oh, oh shit, this nigga lit. He been, he been doing this shit. So. Mm. Now, now, I was I was trying to, when I was on the, looking at the album too, like, you had, I, I didn't see any songs of Mitch in there. It's, Oh, we got a whole album. We got a whole album full of songs. Uh, <laughs> so we got a we got a project. Um, I don't even know what it's called, but it's drill. It's drill music, uh, <laughs> and it's just straight drill music. Gotcha. So I was you like, was right, saying you know that what? you fuck with that shit heavy on yeah. our phone conversation. You <laughs> yeah. say that you fuck with drill heavy. Yeah, bro. It's it's the New York wave right now. Mm. This 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 little cluster of years. So now, uh, do you feel like? Um, it's being oversaturated drill music. Yeah, yeah. I think it. I think it's it's a been become a little gimmicky. Uh huh. Um, and I think the the whole thing is, is it, was, it was Pop Smoke's wave. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? New York jumped on it because Pop Smoke became the leader of New York as far as sound. He was mm -hmm. the popping one. It became a little gimmicky. Niggas are starting to get more creative with it. Which I like, but at the, the same, like, there's only but so far, so much you're gonna be able to. That's do what I was gonna say, and honestly, I was having this conversation with someone, like, like a little bit like people like Fabio Foreign, or they, like might yeah. go a little bit down because that's the only thing that's yeah. keeping them relatable. Yeah, you know I mean? honestly, yeah. So it's kind of like, what's what, what do you think that you're gonna do to like kind of change yeah. your lane? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I I peeped that Fabio, he was starting to slow it down a little bit. Um, on his features i know when he comes back on his on his real shit he's gonna hit that that flow exactly mm -hmm. how he's doing it when pop was live but um i think it's it's really about the tempo the drums and then it's really about like manipulating it to the club sound because there are club hits mm -hmm. there there's songs that pop you gotta take certain elements of that and just run with that but you gotta be creative at the same time mm -hmm. the issue is niggas is just copying the That's exact your song uh -huh. making that same beat Okay, yeah. next one. Just throwing it out. The same yeah. thing over and over. Instead and I of... hate that. I hate when people do that. Yeah. Like, so, in your music, because I know you just don't do drill, because when I listen to your songs, it's not even just drill music. Nah, it's yeah, not yeah, even drill. Yeah, it's not yeah, really yeah, yeah. in that project. Nah, like, nah, nah, nah. So, what, what kind of, like, what kind of vibe do you like to give to your um, audience and stuff mm. that listen to your music? So uh, I, I like the upbeat music because when I hit a stage, when I hit the stage, when I do a show. I like to be. Uh, I like my audience to be engaged and be upbeat. I don't like the. I don't want anyone sitting down and like that. But I did a whole wave like that. I was. I was really on an Uzi wave. I'm not gonna lie. For like <laughs> 2017 really? to 2019, I was like big Uzi, honestly. Uh -huh. Like, um, but now on this project, it's a little bit different. It's still upbeat, but I really thought about my listeners. I really thought I want my female base to really get into it. That's why I got the tracks like Make Up, Sex on there, Blackout. Blackout's like a dance hall track. Trying to be a sex symbol? I feel that. I feel that. He said, ah ha ha. He ah ha ha. He hit him with ah ha ha. I just want to relate to my female base, you know what I'm saying? And then um, t t for my for my niggas, you know what I'm saying. I, I wanted to hit, I still want to hit them with the upbeat stuff, but I want to hit them with a little bit more bars, a little bit more conscious stuff, cause that's mm -hmm. that's, that's where I fuck with heavy. Yeah, yeah. word, cause Nick, that's when I feel like my niggas really started to fuck with me. And I yeah, I come from a slightly different era of hip hop, at least when I listen what what I grew up listening to, it was content based, it was narrative based, you know what I'm saying, bars based. So Young Money, you know, say Drake, you mm -hmm. know, like, so my shit. For as far as the stuff I did for the dudes, it was it's a little bit more conscious about like being in your twenties, 
well, having responsibility, you know what I'm saying? Having to choose, doing this or that, having to choose, making money, having your freedom. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, I'm, I'm saying something. So, um, but it's still, but the beats, music wise, I, I like the upbeat shit. I like all the shit that makes you get up, want to run, like run and gun. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> I, I, I be fucking yeah. with that too, because you need the high energy. Yeah, you, feel you me? do. Like, yeah. yeah. You need the high energy. I, but I do, I ain't gonna lie, like, you, you need a balance, because I, I learned that, like, it's all about a balance with everything because you do need to you, it's a lane for everything it's a lane for everything right now because uh this genre of hip-hop is so big now yeah. like it's its own culture in itself yeah. so it's like you can do literally your own way but you do need a balance for like you said you need something for the ladies you need something for the the niggas that like bars and the consciousness yeah, and, yeah, and then yeah. you need some shit you can bump in the club like, yeah, yeah things exactly. to get down exactly. to you know what I mean exactly, exactly. radio exactly. songs exactly. you know what I'm saying exactly. even though the radio they be blurring out all the fucking curses <laughs> yeah. you know I mean you <laughs> need that you yeah, need yeah, about, yeah. I ain't gonna lie I'm like, dropping a clean version of this album too it's oh, the yeah? first time I've cool. been doing this uh, for the kids yeah. you know what I mean for the kids it's a lot of work that's what I'm saying that's what I'm saying for the kids do it every song twice hell yeah you gotta edit some words mother flipper <laughs> yeah, nah, nah, nah. One person I can say that definitely did like a lot of tracks without cursing is Will Smith. Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, definitely yeah, did a yeah, lot yeah, of tracks yeah. without any curse words. And that's not, it's not easy that's to make a saying. good track. Oh, of course, of course. Like, of course it's not easy. Yeah. Of course. Good luck. I wanted to know, like, so... Like, did you, so you produced this whole project and everything? Yeah, yeah, I, I did. Um, I have beats from various producers as well as myself and my producers. Mm. As far as recording and mixing vocals, I did that. As far as mm. mixing, mastering, I did that. The engineers touched on it a lot on this on this <coughs> on this project. I'm usually a control freak, but um, are you a perfectionist? Yeah, hell yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, I go back to my, my songs be having like seven revisions, oh, okay. eight revisions. Some niggas just mm -hmm. throw the facts on it. Do you write or are you a freestyle like punching type of dude? It dep it depends. I was never a punching dude until 2020 of when I was like, yo, it's, it's now or never. Um, I've always written, always been a writer, always been like a narrative. Cause when, that's what impressed me. Like. Like I go and, and especially like Even nowadays When niggas mumble rap And I go and read the lyrics And I'm like Oh this nigga was saying All oh, day Like this is a whole story I wasn't even I was asleep So I like that I like that shit Like the unexpected Narrative Yeah mm -hmm. no, Yeah no, it's no. like Yeah It's different Yeah I, I definitely fuck with that Cause when it has like More of a story It has more meaning to it And you could kinda like You know try to relate yourself To it as much as possible That you could think who But yeah you just fuck with the music because it's like music is very important you know what i'm saying like that's how people go don't go a day without listening to music yeah facts you know what facts, i'm saying facts, 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 <laughs> facts, yeah especially if it relates to them you oh, know? Yeah. that's your down not to see theme song mm -hmm. <laughs> i like that shit. okay mm -hmm. copy, copy, copy. word so yo if anything you know just plug in anything plug in your instagram plug in anything you want to get in tune let people know what's oh, up yeah yeah you know follow me at party with Marla on instagram i do daily content uh, I do edits, I do music, I do parties, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I don't really be on TikTok like that, but it's at Party With My Lawn, everything. I do got TikTok, I got Twitter, Instagram, I'm king of Instagram, so you can find me on there. Um, on on YouTube, you can find me, Mala Jones. I got videos out, um, Decisions videos, last big video out, we shot on my birthday. That shit was crazy. That, that's a whole story in itself. Yeah, I saw, I saw uh, it, man. That shit was wild. <laughs> yo, yo, that I day. I see that. I got I robbed. It. I got robbed that day. But that's another story. It's another story for nothing. Yes, so I got robbed. $1,600 down. Oh. You know what I'm saying? But <laughs> anyway, that's nothing. That's like. Um, <laughs> Big bucks over here, man. <laughs> Big flex. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's cost, the, cost the business. Nah, nah. But, yeah, um, yeah. What else? You know, I got I got an album. My album coming out, Escaping My Twenties. That's my one of my. It's my biggest project so far. What it's so about, man. I need people to check that out. That's please, that's that's what please check it out, man. Yeah. Talk yeah. Man. Just yeah. Tell me the Jewel man. talk. We out here, man. Yeah, man. Jewel man. talk. I got a shout out. There's some artists on there too. I got a shout out. You know, uh, J One Scunnet. I got a shout out. Boss Bambi. She did her thing on that project. I got a shout out. Uh, Turbeezy. He on that project. He just got a song with Jay Critch. Mm -hmm. So he going up. Um, man, 
Check it out. Check it out. You're going to see. I have my artist X is on there. He's singing. My, my artist X, he is a singer. That's the one yeah. from the Boyfriend song, right? Yeah. Uh, no, no, no. That was me. I, that was just me on the Boyfriend. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. See? <laughs> <laughs> production is? I thought it so it was yeah. Makeup Sex that was him then? Makeup Sex. Yeah, yeah he was yeah. on Makeup Sex and on Rich Token. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Damn. I'll yeah. tell you, I fucked with the album. I was like... Yo, bro, this is like a total different experience. Yeah. Like, just from the skits, if it was a, just from the skits, you know, not a lot of people listen to skits like that. Yeah. And, and I'm not even gonna hold you, cause I was one of those people. Yeah. I was skipped them. Shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. I realized, yo, I, yo, skit, yo. Some of them skits be classics, bro. Some of them skits be fun. Yeah. So I, I definitely, I'm gonna really finish out. I'm gonna definitely finish out. Bro. I got you. I got you. Before, before it comes out here, before it comes out, I gotta get in the loop. Yes, for sir. real, for real. So before you get out of here, bro, I just wanted to ask you. So you've been in this game, like you said, like over ten years. So what, like, what is like your ways you've been like, uh, like, what is some ways of success that you can like sh tell the viewers or like some um, ways they can achieve their goals? Word, mm. word, word. Say okay, okay. Oh, just off the top, say yes to the opportunities in front of you. When people ask you for help, help them. There's people around you that you could put on. And by putting them on, they're gonna put you on. They're gonna rep you because you did something for them. Like there's mad people, mad at my homies, they wanted to record a track. It was their first track, it was their first song. I took the time out, I recorded them, I mixed it for them. And now now they're four artists on their own. And now they now they rep me. And you know, I was just doing that. It was no skin off my back. I just helped them out. So mm. help your people out. Do do favors, do mad favors. Don't worry mm -hmm. about That's a fact. the payout will come back. It'll come back tenfold. Blessings, blessings. Oh, yeah, for real. Okay, okay, I like that. Um, That's a fact, man. Spitting them jewels, man. Mm -hmm. Don't stop. You know what I'm saying? There are going to be times where you're going to feel like you should just quit. It's not for you. This and that. You know, you, you, you might want it real bad. It's just not coming. Just never stop because you never know the real impact you have. You might not see it. But it's happening. It's happening mm, in the world. That's real. It's that's happening real. in the universe. I ain't gonna hold so. you. When you told me you, you quit your job, I'm like, damn, I've been thinking about that. Dude, that that long long. Is, yo, you that's know? a, yo, I yeah, that's a real that. feeling. It's yeah, just yeah. like, damn, my nigga, how the fuck you about to maneuver yeah. real quick? Because that shit gonna hit you with a stop. Because I've been fired 50 times, my nigga. I'm gonna keep it on it. I've been fired like, probably like four, I've been there. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, shit. But. When I'm in, when I, when I'm, when I'm like in a tight bind, it's like you gotta kind of like think differently. I feel like that's what puts you in the sp different type of places that you could be. You know what I'm saying? Where you kind of like what you said, got that ownership for that business. Did yeah. Open your mind up to more possibilities yeah. than just waking up, going to this at nine, doing this right. at five. For yourself, gotta yeah. handle my family right. shit. Gotta handle my whatever shit. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause it's like, but it's like, it's scary. It's scary, you know what I'm saying? Like it's really yeah, scary. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. the fact that you're gonna hear talk back from these people, like, yo, why you did that, son? Why you did that shit, bro? <laughs> why he did that? Mom's coming at yes, you, like, yo, this dumb shit, yeah, bro. Like, yo, family, man, family. Sometimes, but if you see the vision and you understand, that's that's what really matters. Because not every, sometimes you can't always communicate the vision, and sometimes like based on your previous actions, people might not believe you. You just gotta live and prove your truth. Because mm -hmm. if you see it, like. Dead ass, bro. People were telling me like, "Oh, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. It was a six, six figure job, and mm. that shit was literally killing really, me. Really, the money wasn't worth it. And when the people was telling me like, "Why you gonna leave that? Why you gonna quit?" Like, yo, I, I tell you, it's a different type of stress. It, you don't leave the job. You don't, especially during Corona. You, you that, all that OT. <sighs> Damn. Yeah, the money, the money's good, but it, you man, don't got a life. Man, you man. don't got a life. I felt that. Word. I've been there, bro. Man, you that's what you was doing at that job, though. <sighs> See, I don't want to say too much because I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But I was a man, I was a manager managing projects. Okay. Um, I was in construction. You know what I'm saying? I'm dealing oh, with word. dealing with owners in the city, rich okay. people. You know what I'm saying? They, oh, you was doing, doing construction. I was managing construction jobs. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Timelines. These people. These rich people. Throwing money at you, you say you could do this. Alright, you sign a contract. Do it now. Do it yesterday. Do it. Why aren't you doing this? Yo, you said you're gonna do it. They call you nine nine p.m. ten p.m. Why? Where the fuck is my yo? Screaming at you, bro. It's a different type of different type of stress. Yeah, that's right. But all those skills, I used to think about this every day. Like I am busting my ass for these people. Why am I not doing the same thing for myself? Mm -hmm. Like I have clearly I could do this. 
So why am I not investing in myself? That was that was really the inspiration. I was mm. like, yo, I can't do this. I need to. It's twenty twenty. Time to time to change my life and grab grab life, grab my life and take accountability mm. for it. Cause that's that's what that they throw money at you. That's why they throw the money at you. Mm. You know what it is. They know what it is. You know what it is. Nah, it's a different stress level. Cause I be thinking like. It's not worth it, bro. Like you just gotta have your happiness. You know what I'm saying? Like there's a there's a balance. So yeah, no, yeah. definitely have a balance. Definitely have a balance. It's difficult, cause again, like you said, like you said, life is overwhelming. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, can, she can get deep. Yeah, she can get real deep, but. Yo, we're going to end it at that. That sounded good, man. So, again, my brother Mala, yo, yes, plug, in, plug in everything. Plug in your social media. Yes, let to know what you got going on. One more time for the people. Yes, sir. You know my name is Mala Jones. At Party With Mala on everything. Party at Mala, <laughs> PartyWithMala.com, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Wherever you're trying to find me. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm an artist. I'm a producer. I got my events company, We Outside Events. Shout out, curated by Jody. Uh, thank God for her. You know what I'm saying? Escape in my twenties, the album, the movie. Yo, yo thank you again. Yo, thank you for yo, me. Appreciate, yo, appreciate yo, appreciate for allowing us to like appreciate permit it. Word, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, like yeah. give it out to the people. We the first ones, man. Thanks. So this is the this is the you know what I mean this is the hot topic. Man. <laughs> word, so word, man, word, I word. be your host, Mac. I mean, <laughs> I want to see yo. I'm tired, bro. You know what I mean? I'm fresh from work. But I mean, I'll be your host, Finesse Leo. And I'll be back more money. And this has been Jewel Talk. Jewel Talk. Jewel Talk. Jewel Talk. Jewel Talk. Jewel Talk. Spin number jewels, you heard? We out of here. Peace.